G'day everyone, Daniel Anderson here and today we're going to take a look at a couple of new features in Microsoft Teams that I know is going to bring you some value uh, and that is the new sharing experience when you're uploading or sharing a file in a chat or in a meeting as well. So we're going to take a look at that new feature. We're also just going to take a look at a new uh, notification setting that is rolling out that allows you to use the Windows native messaging uh, feature feature or notification feature um, that is native to Windows in Microsoft Teams as well. So we'll, we'll take a look at, at where that setting is and take a look at that experience. So the first thing we're going to take a look at now is the, the new and improved sharing experience. So when we're, when we're sharing files. So I'm just going to jump into a Microsoft Teams chat here. You can see I'm logged in as Megan. I'm having a conversation with Alex. And the first thing, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna upload a new file into this chat so that we can collaborate on it. So I'll upload this file. Once this is uploaded, you can see here that I've got a new little link here or a little drop down. Now it's defaulted to anyone with this link can edit, but what we can do here is when we click on this drop down, is we can change these link settings. Now these are, should be very familiar to you, the same in OneDrive or SharePoint uh, when, we're, um, when we're changing or sharing a link to a file out of a document library. So we can see we can change these settings here directly from uh, the Teams chat interface here. The addition here uh, is that we can set people currently in this chat as a, as a setting now. So I'm going to choose that, I'm going to apply, and that's gonna change the, the sharing settings. Um, then we can post this, and we will fix the spelling up here, and we will post that across to, uh, to Alex. Now, Alex, um, I'm logged in in a different window here. You can see, here's Alex, I've got this link here, and you can see that I've got access to this document. I can click it, I can open it, and I can start to edit this and collaborate on this document as well, all right? So let's just jump back into chat. The second feature that we're gonna take a look at here is the notification settings using the native Windows notifications. So up in the profile here, under settings, what we can see under notifications is the ability here to change from the team's built-in notification style to the Windows notification style. So I'm just gonna change that across to Windows now, and I'll pop over to Alex, and let's uh, have a start a conversation from Alex to Megan. And you'll notice that the notification will pop up if I'm not in the chat itself. So let's do this again. And that doc looks great. Let's post that across. And you'll see here that I get a um, a Windows notification here instead of the native Teams or the built-in Teams notification. And I can send a really quick reply and post that off there, okay? So the new style notifications is uh, rolling out and should be available for you to use. Once again, that is under the profile settings section, under notifications and under appearance and sound, the notification style section here, we can now choose between Teams built-in and the Windows built-in functionality there. Okay, so there we have it, two new features for you, a new sharing uh, experience for, for files inside chats. Now that's available also if you're in a meeting as well, we can do the same thing. And then also the notification style, we can now use the Windows native inbuilt uh, notification system there too. Thanks for watching, hope that brings you some value and I'll see you next time.